let's start off once again with the basic concept of how do you protect your devices from being dropped. Actually, this is something that every mobile manufacturer or anybody with a device should really be thinking about. You spend a lot of time making a really slim, sleek device. And then what happens? People put a huge case because they're scared they're going to drop it. And if they drop it, the phone smashes. And you guys, as device manufacturers, charge so much for repairing it that people are scared. Now, there are two options. One is try and have screens that can be replaced very easily. Otherwise, try and way find ways of making the screen indestructible. Don't allow it to scratch easily. Make it drop proof. OK, that's true, pretty much what I was really saying about it. But I think it's interesting that eventually, and there is a theory out there that, you know, Corning Gorilla Glass is almost nearly indestructible. But because glass is getting thinner and thinner and thinner, it's get, people are curving the glass the way they actually put the glass in the phone. There is a theory out there that if you use Corning Gorilla Glass 6, but you actually have it as thick as Corning Gorilla Glass 1 used to be, if there would be a manufacturer that would actually do it, it would literally be glass that is indestructible. Well, to test this out, we sent Sanjana all the way to the United States to see whether that claim is correct. No surprises for guessing where I am. The sign behind me says it loud and clear. Well, I am at the tech center of Corning Gorilla Glass here in California. And this is where they do a lot of R&D, a lot of new innovation happens right here. But today, they've launched a new product, the Corning Gorilla Glass 6. It's supposed to be more durable. It can resist a lot of falls, including falls of one meter in height, not just once, but actually 15 times. So let's get in, check out some of the demos that they have for us, and also take a look at everything that's new with this company. New breakthroughs with glass technology. That is what we got a glimpse of at the technology center of Corning Gorilla Glass in California. And shattering the glass ceiling with innovation this time, Corning launched their new and most durable glass to date, the Gorilla Glass 6. Corning has addressed the pain point of dropping one smartphone and made the glass two times better than the previous Gorilla Glass 5. It can survive a fall of one meter, not once, but 15 times. This was showcased with the drop test where a competitive glass composition of alumina silicate broke on the first fall. While the Corning Gorilla Glass 6 remained intact even after 15 drops. Another test carried out was the surface impact test or the super slapper. The alumino silicate glass with 0.25 joules was dropped and it did not survive. Corning Gorilla Glass 5 did not break when 2.3 joules of energy was applied. The pendulum impact was then applied to the Gorilla Glass 6 with double the energy, 4.3 joules and it survived. As phone manufacturers are slowly moving towards all glass bodies that enable wireless charging, the aesthetics are as important. Corning is coming out with new designs with all glass backs like these that have different patterns and even textures. Like this wooden looking back is all glass and even has texture to it. They even inkjet glass for different looks. In fact, even 3D glass shapes can be inkjetted from silky smooth finishes to reducing smudges and fingerprints. Corning is leaving no stone unturned in glass aesthetics as well. So not just the glass on your smartphones, Corning Gorilla Glass also focuses on glass on wearables. And today they've also come out with their new range of wearable glass, which is called the DX and the DX Plus. Pain points with wearables might include readability and scratches. Corning has launched the new DX and DX Plus glass for wearables that address just this. It has enhanced optics on the glass and reduced reflection. We saw the reduction of reflection with this pencil test where the competitive glass compositions had much more reflection as compared to the DX Plus glass. Even with scratches, the DX Plus emerged winner with many scratches that it endured. Corning is now tuning optics and reflectance for glass innovations. But the question remains as to when glass barrier can be pushed even more and what can we expect from the company next. I think we're on a journey 
to some they have phones in a normal drop event, not every drop event, but a normal day-to-day -day use case where the phone will not break when dropped. Now, we will innovate in the glass space to make that hot happen, but also part of that rests with the people designing the phones. Because as good as we make the glass, if it's not packaged properly into the phone, and the phone has a certain level of rigidity and design element to it to protect it from drops, then it may still break. So it's a combination of best-in-class glass, very close collaboration on phone design, those two together, you could eventually have a phone that won't break in a normal drop event, and we'll certainly see that in the future. I just can't predict when.